Hi, I'm Stacy Swiderski, a photo editor here at Wonderful Machine. And I'm Samantha McCafferty, one of the designers here at Wonderful Machine. We're currently working on a web edit and web template customization for a non-member photographer, Richard Silver, and today we're going to take a look at his site. Richard is based in New York, and he specializes in fine art, travel, and landscape photography. We're first going to start by taking a look at the navigation and how his homepage works. It's pretty simple. You can hover over each object, and there's a drop-down menu, which you can navigate to each section of his site. So let's click into one of his galleries. All right, now here's a bit of an issue with his galleries. You can't really see the images large. You can only see them on a small size to the right and then the gallery view to the left. Ideally, you're gonna want to be able to view the images large and then be able to click into a gallery view so you can look at the images both ways. This is kind of limiting and the functionality works fine going from image to image, but definitely wanna be able to show your images big. And here's Stacy with a little bit of information on his edit. So overall, Richard has a lot going on on his site. Um, if you look at his portfolios gallery, you can see he has quite a few different projects listed. These are predominantly his fine artwork. Some of them are a lot stronger than others, so ideally we're going to want to look through these projects and edit them down. Richard also has quite a bit of travel photography that you don't see on his primary site. Instead, you have to link off of his site to a separate social photo sharing site such as Flickr and you can see he has about 32,000 travel images on this site along with some interior work that he does for a few commercial clients. He also has some architectural work and pretty much everything is just thrown together on here off of his primary site. So with his edit, what we're going to try and do is streamline his presentation to show only his strongest fine artwork and also integrate his more commercially viable work onto his primary site. We're gonna wanna do this in a way to eliminate any clutter and eliminate any sense of overwhelming amount of content. Also, as a note, he does have on this site, which is something that's really positive, is that he has all of his social media links in his footer, as well as his contact information. That's something that you wanna have on every page so someone can contact you for work. Something else is if you navigate to his about page, this is a lot of content for an about page. It's also the type is very large and the hierarchy is not too great. You wanna keep these pages fairly concise so someone can read about you and kind of what you've done. Also his contact page, typically we recommend that you keep your contact with your about page so it's all in one area and you don't have to go throughout the site to find contact contact information. And then if you go over to his buy prints, this section of the site has some very large type. If he keeps this with his new site, I would recommend adding some more typographical hierarchy, making the type a little bit smaller and more of the information a bit more concise. So it's easier for the viewer to go through and decipher what it's saying. Okay, so now we're going to get started on refining Richard's site, implementing a new web template, and editing all of his photographs. We'll be right back. All right, so we're back talking about Richard Silver's site updates. We're going to start by talking a little bit about Richard Silver's new brand. He decided to go with a graphic identity, and you'll see his new mark up here to the left, which is looking really great. One thing that's great about this new site is these big, beautiful images. This is something he didn't have on his old site. He had kind of a medium-sized image with some pretty large thumbnails. So it's nice to see the images kind of by themselves so they can have their own shining moment. And also if you click this view right here, you can see some big, beautiful thumbnail views. So you have the ability to switch back and forth. Um, and then if you go to his menu right here, you'll see the active state is orange and then the hover state is the light gray, which is really nice. Um, and we're going to take a quick peek into his landscape gallery. So I'm going to show you the captions that are here on the bottom left. And it's awesome to have kind of see where the shots are taken. And another thing that's really great about Richard's new site is that it's responsive. What I mean by that is when you drag the corner of that screen, the images resize as well as the site layout changes. That's something you always kind of want to have looking at photographer's website. All right, then we're going to take a quick look at his prints page. Now we've cut a lot of the content down here, added some really great hierarchies so you can tell what information is important. All right, we're going to take a quick look at his about page. Again, we cut down a lot of the content, we made it pretty concise so you can read a little bit about Richard and why you'd want to work with him. And then we'll go to his blog really quickly. This is something that Richard was really excited to have on his new site. It's an easy to update blog. You'll notice all of his social media icons down here, which is really important to Richard. And you know, we always recommend as well as a 
email icon here. And now over to Stacy to talk a little bit more about his edit. Okay, so you'll remember Richard's previous site had a lot of content on it and a lot of content that was a little difficult to navigate through. After talking to him in detail about our direction with the edit, I decided it was going to be best for him to really consolidate all the work he's showing and to focus on his specialties. For the most part, Richard's interested in commercially pursuing travel photography, so we wanted to make sure that was apparent as soon as a client lands on his site. So you can see our first grouping of images is travel projects, and instead of focusing on just showing the best of his travel imagery, we decided to focus on showing specific travel projects from some of the various locations that he's traveled to. When I worked on his edit, he had given me an assortment of about 2,000 images to look through that he had previously had on his Flickr site. And from those images, I was able to make a few really strong travel galleries with a lot of commercially viable work. So Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and Morocco are actually some of my favorites from this collection, so I'll go through them rather quickly for you. As with any travel photography, you really want to show a sense of place and culture and people focusing on details and having some engagement. Um, let's take a look at Morocco. Morocco is going to have more emphasis on architecture, but again also integrating cultural elements, details, market scenes. After the Travel Projects Gallery, we have a separate landscape gallery highlighting his landscapes from all over the world. As Samantha pointed out before, it was important to make sure that we have captions so that as you click through and you see an image that you like, you're able to see exactly where it was photographed. Richard's fine artwork is equally as important as his travel work, and we wanted to make sure that was presented on his site, but in a clear manner. Vertical Churches was a more interesting edit because of the format of the images. We decided to sequence them in groupings, showing the architectural similarities and differences and color progression with some of these great pieces of architecture. And then he has a press page, which is essentially just clippings of press and tears, which we also helped him edit and he'll add to on his own. So that takes care of Richard Silver's updated site. I'm Stacy Swiderski, and if you'd like help with an edit of your own, you can contact me at stacy at wonderfulmachine.com. And I'm Samantha. If you're interested in any design work or web template customization of your own, you can contact me at samantha at wonderfulmachine.com. Thanks. Have a great day.